New at 10 tonight, a canine health alert. A parasite is killing hundreds of dogs, and the bug that carries the deadly disease is thriving right here in Central Texas. KITV's Alex Boyer is live in North Austin with what you need to know to protect your pooch. Alex? Yeah, check this out. This is my dog, Xander, and like most dogs, he loves going on walks. But it's when the sun goes down that he's especially at risk for infection thanks to a bug that likes to feed at night. Oh boy. Buddy and his dad were out for a walk when all of a sudden we got around the corner down there and he just sort of collapsed on us. John Hagel and his wife rushed Buddy to the hospital after enduring countless tests. The Hagels found out Buddy suffered a heart attack caused by Chagas. What's Chagas? <laughs> Basically. Uh, so we did some, you know, little internet searching to find out what we could about it. Chagas disease is caused by a parasite spread through the kissing bug. Dogs can get the deadly disease one of two ways. Most of the dogs get infected either by eating the bug or when the bug bites them and then passes fecal material into the wound. Dr. Kristen Kay says many vets misdiagnose Chagas because it's a relatively new disease and initial symptoms can mimic that of other infections. And most dog owners have never heard of it. Is that something going around or? Dr. K says a telltale sign of Chagas infection is problems with the heart. This bug is going in and exploding your cells and creating parasites instead of cells that you need. The Texas Department of Health is seeing the highest concentration of infection in B County, but Hayes and Travis counties are reporting problems too. What's going on? Oh, Buddy's on the list, but he's a survivor. And the doctors keep saying, well, keep him quiet. Well, yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> Now, survival time really varies depending on the dog. Buddy, for instance, was told he would only live for about six months. But thanks to medication, it's been over a year and a half, and he's still going strong. Now, vets say the best way you can prevent your dog from becoming infected is by taking your dog inside at night. Reporting live tonight from North Austin, Alex Boyer, KITV News.